Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to YouTube. Thank you for tuning to Granite's Vids again. Today I'm going to talk to you about the um, HHO generator I've built, which is sat there, ready to go almost. I've just got to finish off my bubbler yet and get a flashback of rest yet as well. Anyway, whilst I'm working on that, I'm working on the um, FE the, uh, to control the O2 sensor output. Um, when I do get this finished, I'm going to try the... Uh, a generator with no O2 sensor enhancer at all. Um, so if it needs be, I will be using this circuit. I've built a very crude circuit here of this circuit. Uh, you can see that I recommend a 10k resistor and a 5k pot here. Well, I haven't got a 5k pot and a 10k resistor. I've got a 10k pot and two te um, 10k resistors. Uh, so basically, it gives me the same output. Um, so here's a one and a half volt battery. The switch here comes from the positive lead of the battery through the two 10k resistors into this side of the pot, just here, on this side. And the negative side comes in from this rail into this side of the pot. And this middle one is the output of the pot. There's three connections on the pot. Okay, so positive, negative, output. Now, when I turn this on, I've currently got it set to stock, as in the O2 sensor stock measurements. You can see that there, zero volts. When I turn the switch on, you'll get zero volts until I turn the pot slightly up in a clockwise direction. You'll get a rise in millivolts. I might have disconnected my thing actually, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, I had my crocodile clip there, just short circuit the other um, rail. Anyway, so at the moment it's set at stock, as in like no voltage change, well actually resistance is high. Turn it clockwise and there you go, we get 37 millivolts. Turn it some more, 43, 65, 70s and the 80s. 100 millivolts, okay, and that's just about, uh, if you can see there, that's just about quarter turned and a bit further, if I go halfway, halfway is there, 2.47 millivolts and a bit more, three quarters of the way, 379 millivolts and turn it a bit more, it's fully around, it gives you 532 millivolts. So this is my basic uh, prototype for the A2 sensor output. Like I say, I've copied the um, same schematic on here. I'm going to do a dummy sensor later on today, tonight, I'll do another video. Where I, I, I wonder if you have to splice into the actual um, sensor wire, actually cut it in two. I'd rather just splice into it really, so I'm going to do a little uh, experiment on that. So I hope this helps. See you later.